there's someone who there's someone who who told me to ask you uh, yeah. you talked about state house yes how many times have you been in state house state house have been there several several during the moi time during Inside, kibaki, back and down. during kebaki time during uh, the only time i didn't go to state house during uh, uhuru time that is the only time i didn't go but moi and kibaki time we used to visit walk in walk out so inside until you see certain the coaches ama uh, you know as we all the rooms up. all the rooms in state house i know them i know them there are so many there's a bedroom several bedrooms in state house the sitting rooms the kitchen there's everything there is a bar in the state sit sit state house but when a president comes they change no you might, you have to change you have to change a lot of things like now Ruto is now doing a lot of renovation in State House because I suppose because State House was constructed by the Freemasons, there were things that were buried by its Freemasons underneath. So I suppose maybe that's the reason he's doing the renovation, trying to, uh, to remove those things that the Freemasons planted there. Because these Freemasons, they are ritualists, they are devil worshippers, and whatever they did, they did, uh, they, they, like now, Capturing uh, state house where Sir Evelyn Berlin used to be, where the governor used to be, uh, they did that to control. They raised an altar that will control where the queen will not lose the grip of Kenya. Remember, King Queen was the leader of Freemasons. So they had to put a house where all the presidents will come and live. If I was Ruto, I will build a new state house. Okay. That is it. If I was a Ruto, I would build a new state house. And, and a, that one? And make that a museum. Make that a museum. No one is supposed to rule from, to rule from there. Because that was built with an agenda. Where the queen and those powers will control from. State house is a, is a, 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 a holy sanctuary. Okay. Where power is. Mm -hmm. Because this is a kingdom, and this kingdom, that is where the spirit that leads Kenya is operating from. That is why it's called State House. It's a holy place. It's a ritual place. So whatever that is happening there, it must be very carefully articulated. Such that if you are a Christian and you bring in, believe in Christianity, you either destroy that house just like uh, in the book of Judges 6, where Gideon was told to go and destroy the state house of his father and the Baal. And he brought them down and built there, he built a new one. So Ruto should destroy state house? If I was Ruto, I'm not saying Ruto to do it. I'm saying if I was Ruto, I will bring that house down. Or leave it as a monument and build a holy one for the whole Kenya. Because this country is a holy nation. This country is not for the worshippers. No. It is for godly people who are seeking God. Therefore, this is supposed to be holy and clean. And let me tell you one thing. As long as he is in that house, he will not be very stable. Stable in terms of? Spiritually. His government will not be you. It, it will be. It needs a lot of prayers. That is why he's inviting uh, prayer warriors every single time there. Because he, it, this thing is deep rooted, deep rooted, and there are things buried underneath that are speaking. You know, altars. They sp altars speak. And let me ask: yes. Is it only the status here in Nairobi? Am all the status in? Kenya? It is all the not all the all the state house once we have this is the main state house this is the main others are branches mm -hmm. so whatever is coming from the main goes down to the branches if i have a church and have branches of the church catholic is one in the vatican they read one verse all over the world so it is controlled the spirit that controls i talk, i spoke of a nation catholic is a nation but the the force behind it is the is the is the government the the kingdom so this kingdom is a spirit that goes down controls so catholic operates under the spirit of the pope did you get me yeah, yeah. so whatever that is happening in the vatican must happen in your village kogelo did you get me mm -hmm. so whatever is happening in state house of nairobi 
it is must be very strong you can never build an altar a godly altar in on top of an evil altar it won't work these altars will be fighting therefore whoever that is around this place they will be shaky something will be disturbing them economy yes ruto means well for this nation but the altars operating within that area do not mean does not mean well and if someone if someone asks how do you know if there are some things which were buried there yeah they confessed the freemasons they confessed when yeah when it is in the newspaper just google every information is here every information is here <laughs> okay yes it is a public information let me tell you one thing I told you about this, the, the, the monument of Kenyatta mm -hmm. at the center of KICC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This side, it is the city hall. City mm -hmm. hall was constructed by the Freemasons. Mm -hmm. Beside them, it is the high court, was constructed by the Freemasons. The other side is Sharia House, was constructed by the Freemasons. But the most important thing I need you to understand that Kenyatta is the middle, he's facing parliament where discussions of the country are, beside is the court where you, everything is executed, the law is interpreted, the other side is the city of Nairobi that controls the country, the other side it is where the law is kept, Sharia house, that is now holding the country. But the most significant thing it is the spirit that is spread, the, f the, the spirit that is released to the people, that makes people succeed or fail. To make people fail, or a church fail, or a minister of God fail, or whoever that believes in God fail, there is this thing called the spirit of immorality. Mm -hmm. Samson was destroyed because of the spirit of immorality. immorality yeah. All the men and the women of God, David, the spirit of immorality, um, Judah, the spirit of immorality, Moses himself, Abraham himself, he slept with a, a, a house girl, spirit of immorality. Those, that's the most important, that's the most powerful spirit that brings down any territory mm -hmm. and any kingdom. Mm -hmm. And they made sure at the heart of the country called Kenya, the spirit of immorality is planted forever as a monument. Do you know why? Do you know what it is? Uh, KICC, it was constructed by taxpayers' money. My mother tells me she contributed five shillings and so many other people contributed five shillings. But what is the architectural plan of that building? Have you asked yourself? No. Do you know? No. The architectural plan of KICC is the penis of a donkey. Why the penis of a donkey? That's the spirit of immorality. Where power is. Meaning, country Kenya will never be stable because we are operating under the spirit of immorality. And that's where all the conferences of the world, they will come. Look at the donkey, how it, the, 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 the penis of a donkey. And look at the KICC. Then look at those two houses. <laughs> Apostle. <laughs> Apostle. Do you have a question? I have you a question. You, you make a question. No, 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 I have a question. Eh? Mm. Jews were cut, they were swearing in of, of the new CS. Mm. There were some CS who didn't use a uh, Bible to swear. Mm. They used their hands. Yes. You what know, is what that? is very important is to lift the hand before God. Not the Bible, not the Quran. No, they didn't even mention God. No. You know, if, mention God. if you know you are not, you somehow, you know when you are employed as a CS, you will steal. You will have to do some corruption activity. No, that is a honest man. Whoever did not lift up the Bible is a honest man. He knows somehow, somewhere, and itakula. So why should I lie to God? <laughs> Okay. Don't interpret it that an abudu kitu ingine apana okay. is being honest. Apa lazima ni takula. So kwa nini ndaganya mtu ikuja ilipuke wa si corruption cases. No this corruption cases ina ripuka kwa sababu uliinua bibiria. Okay. <laughs> Ukadaganya mungu eh hey, bwana ni idea. So you rather not say it. Because at the end of the day lazima utakula. So when someone didn't trust the Bible, I manishi ha yuko. Usimupereke ati yuko ati yeni devo washi pa yeni apana. 
anajijua anajishuku na anajua kuinua hii Biblia unajua ndiye anaendanga kanisa na anajua si vizuri unajua the churches they teach the real doctrine ukiangalia sasa kama this this church of a wall it is about holiness and cleanness you see those people there are people that they believe it is about holiness and cleanness and they go to SDAs and SDA will just not swear just by meaning of swearing you see people who have been SDA, SDA they are fundamentalists they are people who are stuck to their beliefs you can never change them so if you know I come from like you now there are people who are Quakers the Quakers they warn you don't lift just don't just lift up the Bible for the sake of lifting because of some you've been told no but if you know this thing hata ukiangalia kwa kula sacrament unaombi yako kama unajua you are not very straight and usikula hiki kitu eh so you don't eat it you don't eat it you avoid you go you cleanse yourself then you come for it therefore kuinua kuinua mkono juu kutoinua mkono is not be interpreted just interpreted this way could be huyu mtu ameji sense Eh kule naenda kuna mnofu na I have to eat. Andi kule naenda kuna mnofu. Kuna mnofu sio ali kule. For sure. Ni ministry gani haina mnofu? Hakuna. Yeah there are kickbacks there. Alafu linua biblia ukadanganya mtu. That's a very honest man. Yeah. Yeah. A very honest man. So apostle uh, you know you know you know you've said you've said uh, you've said the truth mm. now apostle mm. apo mbele you, you said that you 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 you'll tell us the story of you becoming an mp yes i tried i tried to become an mp uh -huh. in kibera i tried my first tab and uh, i really made it very well it was a nice campaign nice well everything doing but little did i know the people i thought they would support me are were against me because i think they see they saw that i will i'm not a good person in terms of their altars so i announced my candidature in kibera and i said i'll be vying for the seat in kibera then it was against raira uh, and uh, I made serious campaigns. Uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. I went to pray. I went, uh, my my team, my team. We went to Cataloni to for prayers to ask God whether uh, uh, are we doing the right thing? Am I doing your wish, God? I've always, since I was a young boy, I've always wanted to consult God in everything. But uh, somehow, that is why I'm telling you, you just don't lift a Bible. Because you know, somewhere, somehow, kuna kitu itafanyika kibaya. So, uh, while in Cataloni, somebody, very senior person, a, a bank owner, calls me and tells me you are doing very well. That is what we want. This man, we must remove him. The man they were telling us now is good. The same same people who are telling us this man is not good. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm talking about the territory, the territory altars. The man they told us is what is what they would say. As they said they called him Kemondo. Uh, much later again they brought him. This is a man, a good man. This is a holy man. Nimutumzuri. They didn't tell us at what point he became good. They didn't tell us at what point. Ninini alifanya riosho na omogani ndio akangara. Because they were telling us, who's in Mutumzuri? That if you don't understand altars of the territory, if you don't understand kind, what kind of altar speaks around, and the owners of the altars, they will keep juggling you. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, they, this man called me and told me that now we have decided, we have decided, we support your campaigns. Where so, wakatu, I was in the Catalonia now. Wakatumenda, we've gone to pray. Yeah, I've gone to pray. Immediately, it was within one hour of reaching there, a phone comes. We have what? We have uh, decided we support you. Come to my office in one hour's time. Immediately I told my people, God has answered my, our prayers. It is very bad to be foolish, foolish spiritually, to be a baby in the spirit, because you don't understand the traps of the, the trapping, the traps of the devil. So immediately, I turned my, my car, went, rushed to Westland, and I was given three million. Cash? Cash money. And they told me to go to campaign. And I started my campaign. Two weeks later, war erupted in Kibera. War? Between two tribes. 
Nikuyus and the Luos. It erupted in Kibera. So the altar, as I'm telling you, they, they are people controlling the city. They are people controlling the masses. And I'm coming to separate them. I'm coming, me, myself, to come to stand against one of them. He may be in the opposition, but he is one of them. So, a minute. So, by then, it was you and him. Yes. You are the people who, who, who are saying, like, mulikuwa mna compete, like... Yes. Like, I'm a two horses. Two horses. Okay. So, I was given money by we, uh -huh. but the person who called me is me. Uh -huh. Is one. Uh -huh. But uh, as he was, he was speaking to me, it were we. We, oh, yeah, yeah. we have decided. We have decided. But when you went, you saw one. One. And it was one who gave you the money. And it's the one who gave me the money. Didn't you ask? Why would you ask and this is a senior person? No, you are trembling. Three million cash. You are trembling. And you are happy. God has answered your prayer. And I was called when I was in Catalonia. That is how the devil deviates you. Removes you from your promise. Because maybe God could have told me, I did not call you this time. Wait for the time. Because I know this time is coming. Mm -hmm. I know the time is coming. When you will be able to say things. And uh, so I was removed. I was given three million. As I tried to enter Kibera, then the same people with another now team stopped me. And told me, watch her. Ask them why. Why would I stop? And so and so, they are the one who have given me the money. Those are powerful. The person who was sent to me was a um, was an was an MP, minor commander was an MP. So I looked at the MP and think the man who is giving money is power. The MP, no. Little did I know the MP. The MP is is uh, is. Uh, is uh, is a, is a, um, what do you call it? A puppet. It's a puppet of them. I am a puppet of them. He's a puppet of them. Now they are stopping. They are pulling me. And they pull him. They pull. Those are the powers of territorial altars. People who control the territory. They use you as puppets. So, after the so I went to Kibera. <coughs> Something erupted. War erupted. Serious war. Serious war. Serious war. And if you ask anybody what triggered the war, nobody knows. Both sides. But the police came and they shoot in the air and it, it, that is how it went. Now when I investigated, I came, I was told that it was again decided. They wanted to cause them, they wanted to cause violence so that they would scare their brother so that he can tow the line. So me, I was being used as a dog to go on the back so that this brother will go back to them and say, now I will, um, I'm agreeing with you. Do you get me? And I was immediately, I was arrested. After the war? Yes, erupted. immediately I was arrested. Where were you then? I was called, I was somebody by DCIO, no, PCIO. Mm -hmm. Then it was um, Osugo. He called me to his office. I went. He called the police from Kilimani. I was arrested. From then, I stayed in prison until the election was done. Why you arrested? Why not? Uh... There was no reason. There was no reason why I was arrested. I kept asking them. And uh, Pamela Kidula, of, uh, then was the chief magistrate, she refused to give me a board. No judges, no charges, no nothing. She refused completely. But what down go boils down to the territorial powers of the altar. I was a puppet. We are puppet controlled by that territory. Territorial owners, the people who own the country, the people who own the economy of the country, the people who own the powers of the country, the trapping. So they will use you to, as a dog to bark, they will use somebody else as a cat, they will use somebody else as a, a cockroach, and then they keep on moving. The people who own the country? Yes, you didn't know. Owning the country in, in The what country way? is theirs. In what way? In what way? They are the one who says who to become. Until just the other day when people said no. That is why they are very scared. You see, Uhuru decided to say, 
you Ruto, you helped me to become the president. But you Ruto, you are not mature enough to rule this country. But remember, he was mature enough to help you to become a president. But now, if it is his turn now to become a president, he becomes immature. Who is that? That's the key. That's an owner mm -hmm. of the king. Raila comes in and decides to be sworn in at the Huru Park, a treasonable act. But instead of being taken to treason, he's given power. His handshake comes. And they become brothers. The one who helped this other guy, he is put aside. Because this other guy is an intruder. The more guy comes in and this become. When this guy called, um, this Botameron guy is called? Kalonzo. When he started misbehaving, who was pursuing him? Is it Gideon Moy? Go and sign. He was commanded. Go and sign. The Azimio thing. Who, whose power was he using to command this gentleman? Go and sign. So those are the people that owns the country territorially. They have altars that control. Why was the Rungu Yamoi there put at the at the Huru Park? That's a that's an altar of power. Why was Kenyatta here? That is an altar of finance, controlling the nation financially. That is why you see, do you have a note here? I'm not. Mm, do you ever carry money? No, no, no. I know. I, I have money, but, 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 but I don't have it on set. You don't have? Let me show you. I don't know whether I have. I also don't carry. No, they said they have problems with us. You see? According to law, mm -hmm. the portrait of a human being mm -hmm. was so told to be removed from the note. Mm -hmm. But who is this? It is this stone, Kenyatta. This is Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. He was never removed. He was never removed because he's the one who controls this. They're the one who controls this. You see, the red line is built and in their farm. Nobody questions. They, 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 they took over. The, they took over. They have built their own road. They fly over. They won the big city, the big road. We will have a president who will first come and say, you know what? Uh, let us uh, let us uh, break down all the monuments in no, the country. It, it, it's only a revolution that can do so. Like when, what you saw in uh, in Iraq, uh -huh. when the 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 what do you call that monument of Saddam Hussein was pulled down. You saw it. The the first thing they did after killing him, they went for the monument. Because that is where the altar that was controlling the nation. So that can be done revolutionary, but not, not by violence. The spiritual revolutionary, which is coming anyway. The spiritual revolutionary in Kenya is coming. The fire of Jesus Christ is coming. The conquering of Jesus Christ is coming. <laughs> but opposed to, you, yes. you know you're mentioning big four families here, don't you fear? So am I mentioning because they are existing or am I mentioning they are existing? No, I'm saying, don't you feel... Can you walk in this town without mentioning Kenyatta? Let's now start from State House. Eh? Come down. Eh? You go to Uhuru. Uhuru what? Uhuru Park. Then you enter Kenyatta Avenue. Then you enter Moi Avenue. Yeah? How will you evade this family? The, the roads are named after them. The gardens are named after them. The airport is made after them. Schools are named after them. Roads are named after them. Utakosaji kuataja. Unenda Moi Avenue, una connect Kenyatta Avenue. Unatoka hapo, unenda Tomboya, unenda wapi? Ivo, Oginga, Oginga, Oginga Street. Using mutoto siya mepatua hii ya bagadi mepadrika, la ira odinga. So, nazimu utawa mention ni baba. Uende kizumu Kenyatta Stadium. Utawa mention tu. Uhuru kudakati ya likuwa napigwa kienda kizumu. 
lakini wanaenda kuwatch mpira kejata kwa uwanja wa Kenyatta <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So this is something about in exist and you can never stop it. Why? Kiwanja ya kindege ukienda kuingia ndege unaenda Jomo Kenyatta. Yawa. So you can stop. You can stop. You cannot stop. And they are there. You can't appraise. Ukienda kununua maziwa unanunua wapi? Bro uko side. Na ni yao. Na ni yao. Tuzo ni yao. Darame ni yao. And do you think it will come it kuna kunaweza kuja a leader mm. a rub everything from them a rub hizo majina za mabarabara a name hata that is not necessary that is not necessary to rub to destroy or to bring any th such a kind of a thing it's not necessary what is very necessary it is a rising of spiritual leaders oh. that are from god <laughs> who will rub those informations in the spiritual realm Oh nice. yes. Okay. It's in the spiritual realm that is important, not the physical. Yeah.